The following lesson is linked to learning outcome two, reading and viewing. It addresses the assessment standard that requires learners to explore and explain key features of texts and how they contribute to meaning in visual, audio and multimedia texts. Learners should be able to recognize the use of visual, audio and audiovisual techniques, such as the use of color, dialogue, music, sound, lighting, editing, framing, styles of shot, camera techniques, foregrounding and backgrounding. Hi, I'm Megan. In this series of lessons, we are going to be studying film. Now, before you think all we're going to be doing is watching movies, you must understand that there's a serious side to film too. The people who make films put a lot of work into deciding what pictures and sound to include in their films. Also, many, many hours go into determining what is filmed, actually filming it, and then editing it into what you finally see on television or at the cinema. In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the filmmaking process and the people involved in the different stages of making a film. Then in the remaining lessons of this series, we are going to examine each of these processes in a bit more detail. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to name and describe the roles of the people involved in creating a film and describe the filmmaking process. Now maybe you are thinking that you already enjoy watching films without knowing any of the theory about how they made. But think of how much your enjoyment will be enhanced if you understand what went on to make the film that you are watching. Also, just as close analysis of a novel or play makes you more aware of the way the themes, plot and characters interact, studying a film closely will enhance your understanding and enjoyment of the story contained in a film and the way that it is presented. Hopefully, by the time you have finished watching this series of lessons, instead of just munching on your popcorn, you will be able to appreciate the thought that has gone into planning and creating different visual effects. So let's begin with the first stage of making a film. The first step in the process is writing the script for a film. Sometimes a script writer will come up with an original plot and will write a script for this. At other times, the script writer might take an existing work, perhaps a play or a novel, and then he or she will convert this into a script. So who is the script writer? The script writer writes the words and actions for a film. Writing a script is quite tricky. Like writing a novel, you have to come up with the plot and setting, themes and characters. But in addition to these components, a script writer has to think about additional elements that make up a film. I'd like to introduce you to a script writer who can tell us more about the script writing process. My name is Norman Mage and I'm a screenwriter director. And uh, one thing about screen directing, which I got taken into it, was the whole notion that you could create a world that doesn't exist or that does exist, but where you have the control over characters, where you can tell the story about things that could happen to them and the outcome or things they could do. The characters that you know and you try write about them. You try put them in a plot where you say, I wonder what would happen to this character if this happened, you know? Where you begin to introduce themes, you know? Where it, the, your story runs with, with these themes. And, 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 and I think that's the most exciting part for me, yeah. Well, if what the script writer said appealed to you, you can think of it as a possible career. Don't just think of writing scripts for Hollywood style movies. Many companies make corporate videos and these need scripts, as do dramas and documentaries. What happens after the script is written? Here's the next step. Directing the film. The script can be interpreted in a number of different ways. Think of the Shakespeare play Romeo and Juliet. 
Many film versions have been made of this. There's a black and white version, a version that sticks closely to the original play, and there's also a modern day version. In each case, the director has chosen to interpret the script in a different way. So who is the director of a film? The director determines the technical and creative vision of the film. Here's a local director I'd like you to meet. He'll tell you more about what's involved in directing a film. Pretty much, I think the simplest way to explain it is you take the script and in you, you make pictures, you, 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 how you would see the story happen and you kind of have a way of how you want that story to be, which is the way you tell stories, which is what makes you a different director from someone else. And then what happens from there, you get your cinematographer, your production designer, all those people, and you make them understand that one thing, that one idea that you want to turn the script into, a visual, you, you, you translate the script to a visual something that everybody can identify with. And in a way, it has to be the same. And throughout the process when you're directing, that's what you keep focus on. Is this the story that I want to tell the way I want to tell it. So that's the power of a, of a good director who he's, he's not on set just to control things, but he's there guiding the vision of the film. If directing appeals to you, look out for the New Direction series on Mnet. In this competition, budding young scriptwriters and directors submit scripts, and the winning entries are mentored through a filmmaking process. In this series of lessons, we are going to be showing you clips filmed as part of this competition. Who knows, you may be inspired enough to want to enter this competition when you leave school. So if the director crafts the artistic side of a film, who is responsible for the legal and financial aspects? In filmmaking, this is known as producing a film. The person in charge of producing the film is known as the producer. The producer oversees the legal, financial and logistical aspects of a film. There are many aspects of filmmaking that a producer is concerned with. Let's talk to a producer to find out more about these. Hi, my name is Yanda. I'm a producer. Uh, what I do is uh, make sure that there's money to run the production, make sure that there's people to run the production, make sure that the production is running. And I love doing it because I get to deal with so many people and so many different personalities and there's always things to be done and there's always new challenges to take on. And it is sometimes really challenging because there's so many people to deal with and there's so many different personalities to deal with and you have to make sure that everybody's happy and at the end of the day the product is delivered the way that it was planned out to be. Once the script has been written, the artistic direction has been finalised and all the elements of production taken care of, we're now ready for the next step. Shooting the film. This is where the camera department gets involved in the filmmaking process. The cinematographer directs the photography of the film. Shooting a film is not as simple as pointing the camera in the right direction and pushing record. As we continue with this series of lessons, you will realise that there are a range of shots and angles that a cinematographer can choose from. Let's talk to a cinematographer who will tell us more about his job. My name is Thomas Modau, the DOP, Director of Photography. Um, yes, I don't know if you want to become one uh, of the DOPs. If you want to, it's very challenging because um, every day is like a new day. You learn every day. Um, the final product is it's in your hand. You have to make sure everything is okay. Lighting, focus pulling, you know, framing of shots, you know, everything actually at the end of the day, it's, it's in your hand. You have to make sure that everything is okay. So it is very challenging. It's nice it's nice. I think I'm enjoying it. For all these years that I've been in, I don't think I can do any, anything else except directing photograph. One of the aspects that's often overlooked when studying a film is the sound. Have you ever watched a film with the sound turned off? It's very difficult to follow because when you lose the sound, 
you lose up to 50% of the communication. A sound technician's job is very important, so let's talk to one. My name is Ignatius, I'm a sound technician, and my work is to make sure that whatever recording we make should be of the best quality. So you must check that uh, when you record sound, there mustn't be an unwanted sound like uh, vending machines around or fridges, or even when an aer aeroplane passes, you must tell the director that you're not happy about the take, so you can make another take. So once all the footage is shot, what happens then? On a film set, different shots may be taken of the same thing. In the editing process, the editor has to choose the best shots. The director may also want to add in special effects, and that also happens at this stage. So what is the next stage of filmmaking called? It's called editing a film. Editing involves choosing the best takes or choosing the best places to cut the action and move on to the next shot. Editing also involves adding in special effects or graphics. The editor chooses the frames and scenes to be shown and places these in order. Here's an Activate editor to tell you more about what his job involves. Hello, my name is Danny. I'm an editor. Um, editing is quite interesting because this is where we put up the whole story together. Um, filmmakers, uh, directors would go on a shoot and bring tapes and reels and we just sit in here and put it together, you know, clean it up, uh, take out to the part that they don't like, um, get creative so that we're able to tell the story clearly. So editing is where the story is made. In today's lesson, we looked at the process of shooting a film. Let's revise this process. It begins with writing the script. The next step is directing the film. Next, producing the film. The next step is shooting the film. And finally, editing the film. I'm sure you realize that shooting a film is not actually as simple as this implies. And you'll be seeing more about how involved shooting a film is as we continue with this series of lessons. For today though, it's time for the task. In today's lesson, we found out about the key roles that different people involved in shooting a film play. For today's task, I want you to revise this by writing down the name of each key person and a one-sentence description of what the person does. Begin with the scriptwriter, next the director, then the producer, the cinematographer, and finally the editor. I hope that you'll join me for the rest of this series of lessons on making films. Who knows, you might be so inspired that you might want to become a filmmaker yourself. So please join me for these lessons. Goodbye.